Sweet potatoes contain fiber, vitamin A, and calcium. But the way that scientists think they can make them even more healthful is literally shocking. Researchers found that giving a jolt of electricity to sweet potatoes increased the level of antioxidants known as polyphenols by 60%. The investigators placed sweet potatoes in a solution of sodium chloride. They found that 0.2 amps of direct current gave the potatoes nearly one and a half times more antioxidants than potatoes that weren't shocked. The research was presented at the National Meeting of the American Chemical Society. It seems that the electric zap stressed the potatoes into producing more polyphenols as a protective mechanism, and the treatment did not sacrifice flavor. Previous research has shown that electrically supercharging white potatoes increases antioxidant levels, so perhaps it's only a matter of time before other fruits and vegetables get shock therapy too. As a kindergarten teacher might say, sharing is caring. She might not mention that cooperation is also a great way to form a community and thus improve everyone's chances of survival. Humans aren't the only ones to apply this strategy. Marine bacteria also form cooperative populations, according to a study in the journal Science. Researchers examined the genomes of bacteria belonging to the Vibrionaceae family. In the lab, they grouped together bacteria with similar genetics that coexist in the same microhabitat. The scientists expected that within any given population, individuals capable of producing antibiotics would use these chemical weapons against others. But when they looked at interactions between different strains of Vibrionaceae, they found that only a few members of any given population could produce the bacteria-killing substances, and the rest of that community was resistant to those particular compounds. But the antibiotics could fight off foreign populations while leaving members of the home group unharmed. This arrangement implies a bacterial social structure, where individuals help the group as a whole. Cranhorning toddlers might want to take note. Does an ice-cold drink actually taste better than the same beverage at room temperature? Depends on what its taste is. A new study finds that the intensity of some flavors varies with temperature. The work is in the journal Chemosensory Perception. Researchers took solutions that tasted bitter, sour, sweet, or astringent, a flavor found in legumes and raw produce that creates a dry, puckering feel in the mouth. They either chilled the solutions to 5 degrees Celsius, the recommended temperature for keeping food cool, or heated the solution to 35 degrees Celsius, a couple degrees below human body temperature. Volunteers then rated the tastes. Both sour and astringent solutions tasted stronger at warm temperatures, and the intensity lasted longer than it did with chilled drinks. Bitter flavors came through best when chilled, and temperature had no effect on perception of sweetness. For most people, temperature can enhance flavors, but for some, dubbed thermal tasters, temperature alone can be a flavor. Heating or cooling parts of the tongue creates the sensation of taste without food, a finding that's hard to swallow. The main reason why MSG is more commonly used in Japanese meals is tradition. For many thousands of years, the Japanese have incorporated a type of seaweed known as kombu in their cooking, as they discovered it had the ability to make food taste better. But it wasn't until 1908 that the ingredient in kombu, which was responsible for the improvement in flavor, was actually discovered to be glutamate by scientists working there. Carbon-rich soil is dark, crumbly and fertile, and retains some water. But erosion can occur if soil is dry, which is a likely effect if it contains inadequate amounts of carbon. Erosion is of course bad for people trying to grow crops or breed animals on that terrain. In the 1970s and 80s, Lau was studying soils in Africa, so devoid of organic matter that the ground had become extremely hard, like cement. There, he met a pioneer in the study of global warming, who suggested that carbon from the soil had moved into the atmosphere. 
This is now looking increasingly likely. or the solution to their problem. Our patients at the clinic tend to be women. Because of pregnancy, but also... Which I personally believe to be the major... I have many women patients who say they... Pain makes them so miserable. Living in the Antarctic hasn't always been so comfortable. Snow buildups caused enormous problems for four previous stations on the same site, which were buried and finally crushed by the weight. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but these buildings became a huge challenge to architects, who finally came up with a remarkable solution. The buildings are placed on platforms, which can be raised above the changing snow level on legs which are extendable. To biomedical researchers all over the world, twins offer a precious opportunity to untangle the influence of genes and environment, of nature and nurture. Because identical twins come from a single fertilized egg that splits into two, they share virtually the same genetic code. Any differences between them, one twin having younger looking skin, for example, must be due to environmental factors, such as less time spent in the sun. Using the internet has become a normal part of everyday life for many people. They use it to book airline tickets or to access news about world events or to follow the fortunes of their favorite football club. Millions of people across the world belong to social networking groups where they keep in touch with their friends and, if they live far away from them, their family. In my opinion, these are all good ways to use the internet. The walls are made of several layers of honey-coloured wood, all sourced from local beech trees. In order to improve the acoustic properties of the auditorium, and to amplify the sound, they are not straight, they are curved. The acoustics are also adjustable, according to the size of orchestra and the type of music being played. or the solution to their problem. Our patients at the clinic tend to be women. Because of pregnancy, but also... Which I personally believe to be the major... I have many women patients who say they... Pain makes them so miserable. In lab tests, music and lighting can affect how much people eat. Now a study has found that changing the ambiance of a fast food restaurant to more of a fine dining atmosphere lessen the amount of food people crammed into their pie holes. To quote the paper, softening the lighting and music led people to eat less, to rate the food as more enjoyable, and to spend just as much. That last finding means that fast food joints, which were accused of contributing to the obesity epidemic, might actually try it. The study was led by well-known eating behaviorist Brian Wansing from Cornell University and appears in the journal Psychological Reports. The researchers converted part of a Hardee's so that it had soft lighting and slow jazz instrumentals. The patrons were expected to possibly eat more in the relaxed section because they'd linger and maybe get dessert, but they actually averaged 18% fewer calories per meal than the folks in the rowdy section, down from an average of 949 calories to 775. The overall experience appears to have been a more satisfying meal, even if there was less of it.
Vaccines are desperately needed in the developing world. Even when they're available and inexpensive, they're still a major problem. Most vaccines need to be refrigerated. Reaching the relevant populations often means traveling to areas where electricity and refrigeration are spotty at best. Nearly half of the vaccine doses around the world are lost to the heat. Also, the cost of refrigeration contributes to about 80% of the cost of the vaccines. So silk experts at Tufts University have come up with a potential solution in case the vaccines in silk protein. Silk proteins contain nanoscale pockets that can hold and protect biological compounds. Inside the silk protein wrap, the compounds stay biologically stable. In the lab, they were able to stabilize the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine for more than six months at a variety of tropical temperatures. The technology also worked with antibiotics. Stored at a month at temperatures reaching 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the antibiotics kept their potency. The research is in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. If the lab results hold up out in the world, the silk safeguard could save billions of dollars and millions of lives.